All right, boys and girls, so this is what we're testing out today. It's the Graycell 2000 watt power station. Nice LED display. We've got different light settings here. Um, this will power on our USB ports, USB-C and regular USB. Then we have the 12 volt, that guy there, and two additional outputs there. And then over here on the side, we've got our power supply so we can charge this power station. And then this is for our solar input if we want to use panels. Now over here on the other side, we have the AC button that will turn on all of these outlets. We have a generous amount of outlets here, six in total. So pretty sweet little setup here. It's pretty compact, very ergonomic with the two handles and uh, we have our packaging with the different cables. So here's the Graycell solar panel that they sent that we're gonna try out with this test today. Really nice um, black and orange. We have all of our cables inside this packet. And then we also have these that are Velcro so we can stand this up. But pretty cool design here. So once we open this, we simply pull on the middle and that will open this up to a huge panel. We can pull these Velcro straps and we can have these oriented however we want. So pretty sweet setup. So let's go ahead and get this set up outside and see how long this solar panel and power station will power my furnace. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got our solar panel set up in direct sunlight. We've got our Graycell power station Let's get that to turn on. It's kind of hard to see right here, but as you can see, we've got some juice coming in on the input. Um, it already went from 12 minutes remaining to, from 15 to 12 in just a few minutes. <clears throat> so that's gonna help this process and help it to run for a little bit longer. So we have our extension cord run in here. We're gonna go ahead and turn AC power on. As you can see, we're not putting anything out right now, but our extension cord goes in through here, through that window down to my furnace, which we'll show you in just a second. <clears throat> and then right here, very easy. This has an adapter for all of these different ones here. So this just plugs in. You hear an audible sound when the solar is beginning to charge. Our AC power is still on, it's illuminated right here. So let's head down to the furnace and show you how we have it set up down there. All right, so down here at the furnace, we have our easy generator switch. Um, I have a couple of videos. If you don't have your furnace set up this way, watch those videos first, but this allows you to plug in an alternate power source to power your furnace. So a really nice setup there. Literally all we do here is, as you can see, we've got juice on that plug. We're gonna plug it in, we're gonna turn this off, and then we're gonna swap it over to generator. Now, as you'll notice, our orange light is on. We're gonna wait for our furnace to boot up, and then we will be powered from our generator outside. All right, so it's 11.59 exactly noon when we're starting this test as you can see it's 40 degrees outside um, 69 inside so we're gonna bump this down to probably 65 and some of these tests have been lower outside temperature but this just happens to be the time of year that i'm doing this test for the gray cell so just to give you an idea we're at 40 degrees outside and 65 inside so in just a minute, our inducer should kick on and we will verify that the furnace runs on our power station. All right, so our inducer just came on. Next, we should have our glow rod to come on. Here we go. We should have ignition in just a second and then our indoor blower will come on. Okay, so 
So I'm gonna hop upstairs to one of my vents and just make sure that we have nice hot air coming out of the vents. All right, got nice hot air coming out of the vents here. So we are good to go. So let's go ahead and check out the power station outside. So it looks like we're pulling 383 watts. That's significantly lower. Um, this says five hours. Obviously that's not going to be accurate. This is only going to run for, you know, 15, 20 minutes and then it will shut down and then hopefully we'll recoup some power here. So I'm really curious to see how long this one will last. So we'll give you an update here in a bit. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you haven't seen my other video on this is some systems do not have a bonded neutral. And so if you do some research on your power station, sometimes this will be the key to allowing your power station to run your furnace because some furnaces are more particular than others. And all this basically does when you plug it in is it will connect the neutral to the ground. So it bonds the neutral and the ground. So you just have basically a power and a neutral slash ground. So do your research and see if this is something that you need in order to power your furnace. And as always, check this before you find yourself in an emergency power outage situation. Just verify that your furnace works or whatever you're trying to run, your furnace, your fridge, your freezer. Just make sure beforehand, that way you'll be prepared in the event of an emergency. So we'll check back with you in a few hours and let you know what we're at. Um, we're pretty much at 99% um, right now. And again, it is just after 12 o'clock. All right, everybody, the sun is going down. We're still getting some light on our panels, but it is 5.09 p.m. Holy cow. We're still showing 96%. Wow. As you can see, it's still 40 degrees out here, 65 inside. But man, I am really impressed so far. I'm sure this thing will run overnight. So right now it has been five hours and we're still registering 96%. Pretty amazing, guys. Oh guys, I actually totally forgot this was out here. Um, I was just doing some editing. It's 11.30 and we're at 61%. Um, I have been blown away by the capacity of the Graysell 2000 watt power station. We're going to let this dude run overnight and see what we're at in the morning. As of right now, it says 33 hours with it just sitting at 61%. So we're going to keep it at uh, 64 is what we usually keep it at inside. So we'll check back in the morning. <clears throat> All right, guys. Our furnace just came on for the last time at eight o'clock. So I came out here at 7.30 and we were at, I think it showed 9%, but it just started snowing. So man, I am really amazed by this guy. Uh, that makes 20 hours. 20 hours is super impressive. Um, I'm really pleased with this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the weather here and uh, do a little recap. All right guys, so the gray cell actually charged from zero to 100 in less than two hours. So really fast charge time um, if you do have grid power. But as you saw, the solar panel also worked really well in um, keeping some of that energy in our power station. Well guys, I think of all of the power stations that I've tried thus far, um, all of the 2000 watt generators or power stations, this is probably gonna be my favorite. Um, it outlasted all the others. It lasted 20 hours with our solar panel. And if, it, if that had full sunlight um, through the whole day, I think that this power station would have lasted even longer. But again, this is a real time test. So we're just going with the weather conditions that we have. But overall, really pleased with this power station. I'll make sure and leave a link in the video description. So feel free to check it out. If you're in the market for a power station, definitely check out Graycell. They have some awesome products and I highly recommend. If you'd like to see some of my other videos with power stations, as well as 
um, how you can get backup heat in your home, check out this playlist right here and we're gonna show you those videos and no doubt you'll find some of those helpful. So until next time, you guys be safe. Later.